Hey guys, so for this video, I'll be unboxing Ihai's first full-length album, First Love. I have finally got this. This is a really, really old album. It's almost six years old now. Um, so, <laughs> I got this quite late. I basically bought this because it was at a very good price. I enjoyed a few songs in this album, so... I was wanting to get it. I don't know if I'll get the second studio album from her, but um, the um, main reasons why I wanted to do an unboxing was obviously show you for those people who may not know who she is or may not have, have heard of this album before I've seen it. I'll unbox it, talk a little bit about my thoughts on this release and kind of my... <laughs> my opinion regarding um ehi's management issues with yg but i'll get to it like unboxing review and then just talk a little bit about ehi so um i got this um for a very good price uh, but as you can see it is a little bit damaged um this packaging is really just not that great um it's a total of 10 tracks um but i think yeah it's basically nine tracks because there's an intro and for the studio album um for the physical copy you do get the bonus track one two and three which is her debut single um, I was trying to look at this at Sp on Spotify and it did not have that song and I was confused. I was like, oh, I guess it's just a CD only type of thing. Um, so you do get that extra song for getting the physical copy. That's a plus. I don't know how rare this album is now to get it brand new. It is pretty decently priced when you get it used, but you know, to each their own, but it's just kind of like, um, a just really weirdly packaged album it's it is pretty um and let me just show what it looks like so as you can see right here it's just popping out um and this is like natural uh, for this to happen <laughs> but yeah let's get to it um This is the disc, and there's nothing right here on the back. Look, and and it's just an empty, half empty box. More than three fourths, three fourths of this is basically nothing. Um, as you can see, it's just wasted space. Hmm. Then we get the track list again on the back of the photo book and some pictures and lyrics. And that's it. It's a very thin photo book, as you can see. It doesn't even fill anything. Look how much space. And that's like, this is, this packaging pretty much is like, a lot of it's just a waste of space. Um, the album is decent. Um, uh, Everyone has different music tastes, so uh, at least for me, I would love, I would have loved for the album to have more tracks like Rose in it, um, and One, Two, and Three are, and that's another great song in this album. That's basically the main reasons why I got this. Um, I think, <laughs> yeah, so it is more of, you're a fan of, like, 
I don't know how to describe this. Like, you kind of just have to listen to this to see if you like it or not. Um, again, like, the standout tracks are the singles. In my opinion, especially Rose is still my favorite song by her. Uh, it's just like a, a really eerie song. It's dark, but still very light at the same time. And her voice really complements the instrumental. I think they did a phenomenal job. The music video is really pretty as well. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of like my opinion about this release. I don't love this album as a whole, but it's not that it's bad. It's just not my musical taste per se. Uh, I just really enjoy the singles that were released from this. Uh, so now getting to kind of like the issues with YG and, um, Ehi. Honestly, I feel so bad for her. Um. Obviously, she had a, she had, she's had successful, uh, releases. Obviously, um, she had her second studio album, which is not even a really a second studio album because it, it doesn't even have that many songs to begin with. Uh, it that was another solid effort from from her. Um, again, I really like the singles, um, but the album as a whole is just not my cup of tea so I don't know how he gave able to get it uh it's just really depressing to see somebody with so much potential and with so much um uniqueness as a whole I think like <sighs> she has so much to offer that's being put to waste <laughs> and um and this has this how ha- this has been happening with a lot of YG solos and this is why they end up leaving like you had Gummy who was really successful and then um YG like completely forget about her and all of that so they definitely have the time and like the money to like make these releases happen it's just that they just primarily focus on their male groups um even even Blackpink who is a lot more successful than every other group right now under YG. And this is not counting Big Bang um, right now because they've, they're on a hiatus because of the army thing, army enlistment and all that. Um, I mean, the military thing. So they've, ha- they don't, they're not necessarily on their roster right now. They're pretty much just have Icon. Uh, winner, Blackpink, Ihai, and then the girl from Actum Musician, and who else? Well, Sungri, but <coughs> and, and and that's it. Like from what I can recall. Uh, and whenever they're female. Um, artists release most of the time anything it's pretty successful Um, and even I think I forgot uh, her I don't know if it's called Breath or Breathless um, that song that she had for her second studio album it's her best selling song I thought her best selling song was Rose I actually had had to double check to see if Rose was her most successful song and technically is not it's actually her, the lead song for her second studio album, So Light. So, <laughs> the girl can definitely um, get up there if she's given the time and the promotion to release her music. And I think she deserves at least a musical release per year. She's, she's been in the game for what, six, let's see, six years now, and she's only had two studio albums. That's how sad it is, and same thing for Blackpink. They've only had one Korean release, and their Japanese stuff is just recycled Korean songs. They, they don't have any original Japanese songs at all, it's just re-released, repackaged into different editions and it's still the same songs. Just like I don't understand. 
And whenever the, the female artists release anything, it just does so well. <sighs> it's just really, really sad to see um, so much potential put to waste. Uh, but then again, I don't know if she was be if she would be as successful if she left YG because YG's brand really really helps her. Um, but then again, they don't do anything with her. So she, every time I see any article regarding Ehi, she's like always complaining about not being able to do basically anything. Like she is not given any opportunities, and she's just been pretty much doing nothing uh, whenever she goes on a break obviously she probably records a song or two but that's she doesn't know she's gonna release anything she probably has recorded about two albums I would say and those were probably scrapped because why you probably said this is not good enough um but yeah it's just like um it really upsets me every time I hear like anyone mention her it really just puts me in like not a bad mood but like a little bit sad um just to know that this poor girl because she's still so young like she's like 20 21 22 years old and because she started out very very young and she has like been completely um um her career has been sabotaged by YG because she has never, I don't, I, there, there hasn't been any sort of progression or any evolution from her because she doesn't get to do anything. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of like my little, uh, rant regarding Ehi. Um, she isn't not necess she isn't necessarily like big in the international K-pop fandom, so at least I can talk a little bit about her. Check her music out. Um, it is different. Don't expect like um, her music to sound very YG like because it's not. It has a jazz R and B ballad -y mix type of thing with a sprinkle of indie sounding <laughs> songs, and that's what kind of. YG has painted her image to be. I don't know if she wants to do that, release that type of music, but that's what she's been releasing, and it's like a mix of that. Um, she either goes like extremely jazzy, or then she goes like full on ballad. Um, so it's just, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I I always kind of look forward to hear anything from her. To be completely honest, because her voice. <clears throat> is very different from a lot of K-pop artists and she has kind of like <clears throat> this Adele um like emotional type of voice I wouldn't say she's as, as good as Adele but she has her own thing going on um but yeah check her out if you haven't listened to this album yet um I obviously wanted to make a video you know talk a little bit about her and also keep in track with albums that I've been getting because I did order a few. I don't know if they will come, they will all come in, come in, and by this month, um, I will be buying less albums actually because I am planning on going on a few trips, so um, I have to save up for that. All right, guys, bye.